Well, right now, I think what we have is two issues. We don't have enough testing, so we really don't know how many people are infected. And we don't have enough investigators to track everyone who's infected now, even if we knew who they were. So I think for this particular first wave and for the surge, we're a little bit behind the eight ball. We're going to have trouble catching up. And we're going to have to deal with what we get. What I'm really interested in is after the first wave is over, as we work toward a second wave that may be in the fall, or early winter, that we're prepared for that. And that's going to mean a massive scaling up of our ability to test for infection, a massive scaling up of our ability to track and trace and isolate all the people who are infected in their contacts. And then we also want to start testing for immunity and know who's immune and who we don't have to worry about. And you also call for health insurance for all Tennesseans in the face of COVID-19, as well as an agreement among insurance companies that there will be no out-of-network insurance issues for people who need treatment. How do you convince governors and insurance companies to do that? Well, that's, you know, that's been a big issue for a while, is that we sit down in the corner of Tennessee, and a lot of our patients come across the border from different states, from Arkansas, from Mississippi, uh, to some extent from Missouri. And we have a lot of issues with different laws and different insurances, and some can cross and some can't. And you know about out of network and surprise billing. These are things we've been reporting on for years on this and other stations. And now that we have this pandemic, I think there's a recognition that you can't let those sort of regulations interfere with the public health. My hope is that as we go through this, we say, hey, this is something we should have been doing all along and that the state is able to refocus and say, we really do need to expand Medicaid. We need to have health care for everyone in the state, not just for this sort of major event, but for everyday health care. One of the things I'm really worried about is we have a lot of chronic disease in Memphis, a lot of obesity and diabetes and heart disease because we don't have health care for everybody. And those are going to be harder hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. We need to fix that so next time this happens, we're ready. All right. Well, moving on to a much lighter note, still COVID related, but sports big here in the Mid South. What are your what are you what is your prediction for sports in the fall, particularly football when it rolls around this when it season rolls around again? You know, there's been a lot of talk about sports, and and I've been involved in that, and and I'm hoping that my recent uh, radio interview and column with Jeff Calkins isn't going to paint me as the bad guy who wants to get rid of sports because I'm the biggest sports fan there is. But I'm worried that we're not going to be able to do sports as usual, that we're not going to have college football. Maybe we're not going to have the NFL in the fall. I think we're going to get through this first wave, but we are going to see second waves of this. And we're not ready for sports to come back and have thousands or tens of thousands of people in the stands. And we're not really ready to be able to deal with a league and all the things that go on when players might be infected or their families might be infected. I think it's going to be about two years before we get back to normalcy in sports. And I just hope in the, in the intervening couple of years, we can adapt and have some interesting different ways of getting sports out to us. But normalcy, I think, is a couple of years away. All right, Dr. McCullers, we're about out of time. But um, one, what's the most important thing you want our viewers to consider right now? I think the most important thing is following the safer at home, the shelter in place order, really doing what our local government officials are telling us. This is the way we're going to mitigate the damage, the surge that we're expected from uh, from this coming in the coming weeks. You're very welcome. We'll be right back.